Welcome back to Josiah Plays Deus Ex Human Revolution. We just read this uh, little ebook here about the Bell Tower Corporation, um, a private security corp that I'm sure will be relevant to the story. And there's some other stuff here to look at in this office. Another newspaper. It's the same, the same paper that we saw on uh, Athena's desk. Any other uh, So this computer is unlocked. <laughs> like Pritchard did not want it to people to leave their computers unlocked, but uh, everyone seems to around here. Okay, here's an email from Pritchard to uh, Andrea. Greetings, Shine Ferret. <laughs> Nuclear Snakes got an assignment for you. It's come to my attention that someone has been stealing neuropazine around here for quite a while. You know that stuff costs a fortune, so I suspect someone's selling it on the black market. We need to get to the bottom of this and bring it to David before Jensen does. Feeling up to a little late night detective work? I've got an IntelliCam that's rigged to record while it's inside the lab's freezer. But it'll look strange if I get caught in there placing it. You, on the other hand, are always full of surprises. You up for it? This is kind of giving me an, an idea that maybe she was kind of fooling around with him too. And then that, that Bruger caught her placing that camera and maybe she... uh you know, had to distract him to get away with what she was doing or something. I don't know. So... She placed a camera in the um, lab's freezer. And this is that email we already read from Bruger's computer. Athena Margulis to uh, Seraph Industries Global. Overtime policy. It has come to my attention that many of you are logging overtime hours as we continue to work hard to meet deadlines. Because of this, I would like to remind everyone about Seraph Industries' overtime policies. For anyone exceeding 8 hours of work in a single workday and or 40 hours of work in a regular work week, you are entitled by law to one and a half times your regular rate of pay for all overtime hours worked. But we'd like you to consider an alternative option. A one-for-one -one exchange of overtime for paid vacation hours once project deadlines have been reached. Please inform your unit supervisor which option you'd prefer no later than Friday, 11 a.m. If we do not hear from you by then, we will assume the second option applies. Thank you for your time and dedication to keeping Seraph Industries alive. In other words, we do not want to pay overtime. Sounds like a typical company. Okay. Well, we have uncovered all sorts of interesting information in this little, in this little plot here by going between their different offices. We've also uncovered a bunch of money and stuff and, and gained some XP for uh, some of our shenanigans here. Hmm. Research results. Okay. Richard's been trying to order everyone around since you've been gone. Well, I think that's all of the offices that I could actually get into. So, that's about as much investigating of that as I can do, I think, at this point. Beyond, uh, beyond trying to talk to Margulis and or Pritchard again. Well, 
How do I get down without killing myself? <laughs> and where's those stairs at? Oh, I'll just jump off here. Yeah. Worst idea ever. Oh, interesting. You don't have to hold down shift to sprint. You hit shift and then it just sprints the five seconds automatically. That's kind of nice, I guess. As enjoyable as this little chit chat has been. Right, okay, so nothing. So Alright, I guess it's time to go to the helipad. I think I've done about everything else here at Seraph Industries that I can do for the time being. Something, Mr. Jensen? You said everyone's been moved around? Almost everyone. Who are you looking for? Thanks. That's what I'm here for. Anything else, sir? Uh, nope. That's it. I'll find my way. If you say so. It's... It's good to have you back, sir. All right. So I've spent a, an extreme amount of time here in the first office building, reading stuff, looking at stuff, talking to people, uh, and I'm now ready to, to actually move on with this. Well, look at this. Finally decided to get off your ass, Adam. Glad to see it. For a while there, I thought you'd never walk again. Well, I'm glad I'm able to walk. Hey, boss. Good to have you back. Um, I don't want to rush you, but any idea when you might be hiring more staff? These guys have interesting uniforms. I don't know about this Milwaukee Junction thing, though. You sure you're ready? The Typhoon Project is pretty important. Just be careful, eh? We've been putting in a lot of hours since... Well, you know... We lost some good guys. Anyway, I might know someone when you're ready. So... What, uh... Where am I? This is like a back area. Where is this thing? With those hearings permanently on hold, many are now wondering if something else may be going on. Is David Sarah hiding something? For tonight, this is Eliza Kassan reporting to you live. Oh, why would they think it's Der David Seraph that's hiding something? It's not his fault that we got attacked. Well, unless he's deep in some crazy conspiracy. News coming out of Detroit. Police are still not saying much about the situation, but sources tell me that a group of pro-human activists have raided the Seraph industry This is like the break room, the little cafeteria break room, right? Same newspaper? Yep. Jensen? What are you doing here? I wouldn't have put two credits down on you ever walking again, let alone coming back to work. As you can see, I can not only walk, I can jump, I can run. I saw them drag you out of the rubble six months ago, and the other bodies. I'm glad you're back. Hey look, I found a beer. So objects you can pick up are not always real obvious, I mean... It would be real easy to miss stuff like that. What does a beer do for you? Besides, you know, be a delicious and, and uh, recreational beverage. Gain an additional Mahara Ja Hot Devil Ale. <laughs> additional 5 health points up to a maximum of 200. The British gave much to India. Over 200 years of economic plundering, over 100 years of forced colonial rule, famines, rebellions, and... Beer! What the devil? That's Maharaja the Hot Devil, Sahib. Warning, alcoholic beverages will imbue the drinker with a small increase in damage resistance. Each additional beverage consumed will increase this effect. Adverse effects will include blurred vision. Okay. Interesting. 
What's this, Duke Nukem Forever? Can drink a beer for health? Anything else, uh, to be, to be gained here in the old break room? What's going on, guys? Sorry, Mr. Jensen, but things are really unsettled right now. Mr. Pritchard in the tech lab can probably tell you more. Good to have you back. Oh, he's told me enough. You're great. Good to have you back, though. You're looking great. Jensen? Jeez, wasn't expecting you back for weeks yet. If ever. Sorry, can't talk right now. Too much work these days. Sorry, can't talk right now. Too much work these days. So, the dress code seems to be fairly casual and, like, sophisticated and cool, more so than everybody dressed just for purely professional. Uh, so I can go down there. What was... what... 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 Uh Hi, I'm sprinting. Don't don't mind me, guys. Oh, I need a drink after that. There's a faucet I can use. So here's some doors I can open. Oh, now that's the helipad. Well, hold on. If that's the helipad, but there was this other way over here. What's over here? I'm gonna explore this before I. Parking, street level. What are you guys up to? Oh, hey. Wow. Welcome back, Jensen. Uh, barely recognized you. You're looking good. Remarkably good. Thanks. Seriously, man. I'm glad you're back. Feel safer already. <laughs> Seems a little Seriously, suspicious. Man. I'm glad you're back. Feel safer Jensen. already. We were just uh, chatting. About the Milwaukee Junction situation? I guess you're heading over there. I think I saw Farida heading to the helipad. You should probably join her. I, I don't trust think these I guys. They seemed to, to the like they were up to something that I just interrupted. Up to no good. Fire extinguisher. Helipad service access, huh? Oh. That's also the helipad. Okay. What's over here? <laughs> a vent I can crawl through, apparently. And here's a janitor working hard. Jensen, nice surprise. Saraf is bringing in the big guns to handle the break in, right? We'll get going. Can't afford another missed deadline on this type of project. Well, hold on. Let me just make sure there's nothing untoward going on in this vent. Wow. See, I'm getting fat XP for exploring stuff. That's awesome. I'm not real certain what the point was of exploring this. Oh, I can climb. Oh, I get on a ladder and it goes to third person. Sweet. Let's see what's down here. Wait. Is that like... How does one... Oh, I found... Oh, neuropazine has been stored in this... See, now this is seeming like it's related to that plot with the, be the stuff being stolen. Because there's neuropazine here in a VersaLife thing, like being stored in this... in this, like access shaft and even with like money with it and stuff ah oh, and there we go I found information let's read it uh, f well hold on actually we'll uh, we'll read it uh, in the next video because that's all the time I have for this one thank you for watching Josiah plays Deus Ex Human Revolution I'll see you next time